We're back with Les Stark. He's thawed out and uh, here to talk about the seventh race tonight on the car, the Complex Series. And Les, it looks like a match race here between Arrive at Five and Thorny Hanover. We've got six division winners in this race. A make Music, Bell Buckle, Thorny Hanover, Ringleader, and as I mentioned, Arrive at Five, also Direct Command. Well, it would be hard to select against Arrive at Five, certainly, Ken. He's won uh, his legs in the handiest of fashions. He looks like the kind of horse that very much likes the Meadowlands, and he'll be a very big favorite. And now Thorny Hanover looks to be some good value here. He's uh, currently 12-1 to 1 on the board. Well, Thorny Hanover w uh, cut the mile out last week, and he battled gamely. This is something that in, in, uh, earlier in his career when we saw him at the Meadowlands, he really didn't have that part of his game together. But, uh, you know, I would look for, considering he's coming from the McIntosh stable and the good form he's exhibited, for him to go a good race as well. You think a ride of five might be a horse to bet against with a post position 10 on a cold night? Uh, you, you know, you have to stretch. Now, you know, we talked earlier, uh, you and I, about how the weather conditions have hurt the training schedules of these horses, but I'm not that imaginative to go against the Rabbit Five. All right, let's uh, look at the final odds, and here's the field and the odds. Five to one for Ringleader, a 12 to one, Thorny Hanover, a heavy one to two choice here, Rabbit Five with John Campbell, and here's John Bothy's call. And they're off. Bell Buckle leaves together with Tacit Thunder with Make Music. Also, Thorny Hanover around the first turn. And it's Bell Buckle. Up quickly to take the lead. That's Make Music second. The outside, Tacit Thunder third. Direct Command in fourth. That's Thorny Hanover fifth. Mariah Storm sixth. Arrive at five is underway early from seventh. That's another length and a half to pass and jade. Two and a half to ringleader. FedEx is tenth and the trailer scale the wall. First quarter, 28 and two. Down the back stretch, Tacit Thunder to the front. Quickly challenged by Thorny Hanover. That's Bell Buckle in third. Here comes the heavy favorite, Arrive at five. Length and a half to direct command fifth. That's Make Music Shuffle to six. Mariah Storm into the outside flow seventh. Pass and Jade Live cover eighth. Then it's Ringleader in ninth. The trailers are FedEx and Scale the Wall. They go by the half and Arrive at five. Hard driven to get the lead. Half time in 57 and two. Arrive at five by length. On the outside, direct command sack in with Thorny Hanover in third. Then it's Mariah Storm in fourth. The inside, Tacit Thunder fifth. Pass and Jade six, Bell Buckle in seventh. Ringleader the outside eighth, make music ninth. They approach three quarters and arrive at five for Campbell by three parts of a length. Direct command second along the inside, Thorny Hanover. Tacit Thunder is fourth, three quarters. In one, 26 and three. Three sixteenths to go and they're on their way home. Arrive at five by a length and a half. Thorny Hanover looking to shake loose. From between horses, direct command up on the far outside. Bell Buckle in deep stretch. Campbell all over arrive at five. Thorny Hanover now bursting through. Here comes Thorny Hanover for O'Donnell. It's going to be Thorny Hanover getting up to win it. Arrive at five seconds. Well, Les Thorny Hanover squeezes through, but he's going to come down here. Well, Thorny Hanover was loaded the entire second half. After he released Arrive at Five past the half, he had a lot of horse in the hole, and uh, Direct Command, who came first over, just wouldn't go away, and it appears that uh, Billy O'Donnell, driver of Thorny Hanover, nudged uh, driver Bill Fay over and did get out. It's unfortunate that uh, for Thorny Hanover's connections, that Arrive at Five just wasn't himself tonight which case he would have opened up by a little bit more and given Thorny, Han Thorny Hanover more room to strut his stuff. And it is Arrive at Five, second place first for Campbell and the Robinson Stable and Doug and Nancy Langs, the owners. Three dollars to win, 11 direct command moved up to second, exact to 15, 80 in the sixth. Thorny Hanover first, disqualified and placed third, and the trifecta paid $80.20. The Racing Pick 3 payoff tonight, $216.80, a 6 4 10 Here's the eighth race. $90.60 for the 3 9 10 trifecta. And Les Stark, you've got a pick for the 11th race tomorrow night. We've got 13. And tomorrow night's 11th, I like Neon Franco win. She was following cover last week, Ken, and a horse broke right in front of her, and she got knocked back a lot. Closed like a freight train. She's, a, she's moving up, but she's a big, good-looking mare, and I think she might be able to handle the rise. And we've got trifecta wagering in all but the presidential second leg of that on Saturday night with uh, Silver Almahurst. Looks like he uh, might gain revenge on his stable mate, Silent Spring. The Robinson Stable's been awesome again this year, and they've got the top two there. And we've got the cape and cutter tomorrow night. Thanks a lot to Les Stark. And join us again tomorrow night for racing action from the Meadowlands. Good night.